Hi, my name is Lydia Bolenball, and I'm filming this for the video portion of my final essay. Distracted driving. Does our state do enough to prevent distracted driving? No. There will always be more that the state can do as technology gets more and more advanced. With technology how it is nowadays, it makes it hard for the state to do anything to prevent distracted driving. With car companies installing ways to talk on the phone without having to pick up or touch your cell phone. Another thing is cell phone companies are making their phones so calls, texting, and even searching the internet are hands free. With more advanced smartphones coming out and becoming even more hands free, they, that will make it much harder for the state to stop distracted driving. One example of distracted driving is looking at your phone instead of looking at the road. One reason that a person might look at their, be looking at their phone is because they are reading or responding to a text. On October 1st, 2013, a law was passed making t texting and driving at the same time illegal in Florida. The U.S. Department of Transportation is still leading the effort to stop cell phone use behind the wheel once and for all. 90% of American adults have cell phones, 64% have smartphones, 32 own an e-reader, and 42 own a tablet of some sort. Listed before are, is the percentages out of 100% of the, how many Americans own electronics and what electronics they own. The American num America is number three country in the world for how many phones versus population. On my charts, I have a pie chart over here explaining the attention status of drivers in crashes. 49% are attentive. 36 is unknown, 5% look but did not see, 8% are distracted, and only 2% are asleep or sleepy. Over here is a bar graph listing what distracts drivers. 29.4% are things outside the car. 11.4% is adjusting radio, CD, or other objects like that. 10.9% is other occupants. 4.3% are moving objects in the car. 2.9% are other objects in the car. 2.8% are vehicle, vehicle controls. 1.7% are eating or drinking. 1 .5, only 1.5% are cell phones, which is surprising. 0.9% is smoking. 25.6 is other distractions of any sort, and 8.6% is unknown distractions. So, to recap, does the state do enough to present, prevent distracted driving? I believe not. Texting and driving is the number one reason for crashes. At least one person dies from texting and driving every day in the United States of America. Whether it is a teen or an adult, it does not matter. When texting and driving, the probability of someone dying has increased.